Welcome to the SimForm demonstration video. SimForm is a web-based application that allows mold designers to simulate the thermal behavior of a plastic injection molding process using a straightforward and easy-to-use workflow. You can use SimForm to optimize cooling channels, estimate cooling time, and select the most efficient cooling strategy for your mold design. In this video, I will show you how to import your mold design, set up the model, and run the thermal analysis in SimForm, how to analyze the results, and how to compare different cooling methods to decide which cooling method is the most efficient for your mold design. For this example, I will use a mold design of an all-terrain vehicle grill. First, I will use SimForm to run a mold analysis without cooling channels this analysis helps to identify the areas with the high temperatures that let you decide which cooling method to use, where to place the cooling channels, and where to include inserts and other thermal components such as baffles, bubblers, or pins. Then I will run an analysis of a conventional cooling design and a conformal cooling design for the same plastic part to compare the temperature results and analyze the efficiency of the two approaches. I'll start by creating a new project for the grill model. In SimForm, a project is used to test variations of your design. To create a new project, on the Projects page, I will click Project. And then I will type a name for the project, for example, ATV Grill, and click Add. Inside the ATV Grill project, I will create a new job for the Channel Planner Analysis. A job is one single test of the model. A project can contain multiple jobs with different variations of the part and mold to easily converge upon the optimal design. I will type the job name, for example, Channel Planner, and then I'll click Upload File to upload the mold CAD file. The CAD geometry file must be a single file that contains a mold and a plastic part. I will click Add to create the new job. After uploading the CAD geometry, I will categorize the model components for SimForm to identify and select materials for the mold components and the plastic part. The Mold Group 1 and Mold Group 2 panels in SimForm let you categorize the various parts of your mold based on their material properties. If your mold includes inserts made of a different metal material than the mold, you can use the Mold Group 1 panel to categorize the core, cavity, and other components made of the same metal material. Then, use the Mold Group 2 panel to categorize the inserts with a different material. This ensures that the results of the thermal analysis are based on the specific material properties of each component. This example does not contain inserts with different metal materials, so I will use the Mold Group 1 panel to categorize the core and Mold Group 2 panel to categorize the cavity. This allows me to display the temperature of the core and cavity separately while looking at the results. To do that, I will graphically select the core component of the mold. And in the Mold Group 1 panel, I will click Add. I'll click the eye icon to hide the categorized components. This allows me to verify if all the components are correctly categorized by hiding the selected ones. I'll repeat the same procedure to categorize the cavity and the plastic part. If your model contains cold runners, use the plastic part panel to define them as runners. The ejection pins and lifters on the core side are in contact with the plastic part. Not including them in the analysis creates an additional source of cooling that distorts the temperature results. So I will select the ejection pins and lifters and define them as part of mold group 1. The main components that affect the temperature of the plastic part during the cooling process are the mold core and cavity and other elements that are in contact with or near the plastic part. Therefore, we will not focus on the other components in the model as they have minimal impact on the temperature. 
Now that all components are categorized, I will select the core, cavity, and plastic part materials. SimForm uses the material properties to compute the heat transfer between the mold and the plastic part components. In the Mold Group 1 panel, I will expand the materials list. You can add a custom material or select a predefined material from the list. If you add a new material, it will be available for use in all of your projects. For this example, I will select P20 Mold Steel for the core. I will then select the same mold material for the cavity and acrylic for the plastic part. Selecting the plastic part material sets the initial temperature for the plastic part, which is based on the recommendations of the plastic provider. The initial temperature can be modified if necessary. After categorizing the model components and defining materials and initial temperatures, the model is ready and I will launch its thermal analysis by clicking Submit Job. SimForm performs a preliminary simulation to determine the initial temperature of the mold. The injection simulation begins with the plastic part at the injection temperature. Subsequent cooling is simulated until 20% of the outer surface of the plastic part has decreased below the freeze temperature or 120 seconds have elapsed. When the solve finishes, I will click Results to open the Results page. In the Display Mode panel, the freeze time is displayed. The freeze time, also called the safe ejection time, is the time required for the plastic part to develop a frozen layer thick enough for the part to be ejected and retain its structural integrity. SimForm reports the overall freeze time and the local freeze time, which shows locally how long it takes for the plastic part surface to freeze enough to be safe for ejection. The overall freeze time should be compared with the target cooling time to make sure to meet the customer requirement. The local freeze time results show that inside the plastic part pockets, the local freeze time is relatively high. To reduce the cooling time, the design effort should focus on these areas. I will select plastic surface to display the temperature results at the surface of the plastic part. The results show that the high temperature zones are located in the central area of the plastic part. I will select mold and use cutting plane to display the temperature distribution inside the mold volume. I can also clear the mold group 1 or mold group 2 checkboxes to hide temperature results on specific component types. High temperature areas in the mold are located near the plastic part. Using these channel planner results, a new CAD design file is generated that contains cooling lines in the areas where the cooling time is higher than the target. This design contains conventional cooling channels with baffles that were added only on those areas of the mold that cannot be cooled effectively by basic cooling channels. I will now click Add a job to create a new job called conventional cooling. When I create a second job, I can choose to keep the same CAD file as the previous job, or I can upload a different one. I will click Upload File to upload the new mold design, and click Add. When a new CAD file contains the same model tree as the previous job, SimForm keeps the categorization, the material definition, and the initial temperature of the components with the same name as in the previous job which saves a lot of time preparing the model for the simulation. Therefore, for this job, I will proceed directly to categorizing just the cooling channels. I'll start by hiding the categorized components. Next, I will graphically select one cooling channel, and in the Channels panel, I'll click Add to define the selected components as a channel. If the channel contains more than one component, I can use Add Body to define all components of this channel. I'll repeat this until I categorize all the channels. To define the channel inlet, I will select the channel from the channels list. Then, I'll click Add Inlet. Only the channel I have selected is displayed. I will graphically select the inlet of the channel. I will click Add Outlet and select the Channel Outlet. 
SIM form allows channels with one inlet and multiple outlets. This design also has baffles in channels which need to be categorized too. To do that, I will click Add Baffle, select all the baffle surfaces by pressing Ctrl on the keyboard, and I'll right click to finish categorizing this baffle. I must identify all the baffles one by one. I'll repeat the same procedure to select and define all the cooling channels of the model. For the cooling fluid, SimForm automatically sets a flow rate that ensures a turbulent flow in the cooling channels. The default cooling liquid temperature is 25 degrees Celsius that can be modified if necessary. Now I will click Submit Job to solve the model. While the conventional cooling analysis is solving, I will click Add Job to create a third job and run a model with inserts containing conformal cooling channels that follows the geometry of the plastic part. I will name the job Conformal Cooling and upload a new CAD. In this example, the inserts are made of the same material as the core, so I will categorize them in Mold Group 1. And I'll categorize the channels following the same procedure I used for the conventional cooling. The simulation results comparing conventional cooling to conformal cooling in the mold cooling process using SimForm show that conformal cooling is a more effective cooling method. In the conventional cooling model, adding baffles to redirect the coolant to areas that need more cooling reduces the temperature of the mold and overall freeze time. However, the local freeze time is still high in the central area of the plastic part. The conformal cooling model demonstrates a more uniform temperature distribution in the mold with lower values near the plastic part. The conformal cooling channels are effective at reducing the temperature and freeze time in the central areas of the grill, leading to a more efficient and effective cooling process overall. While it is important to note that the use of conformal cooling inserts does result in an increased cost for manufacturing the mold, this method may ultimately lead to cost savings in the production process due to the reduced cooling time and improved quality of the final product. In this video, I used SimForm to run a channel planner analysis and compare different cooling designs applying the results provided by SimForm to optimize the cooling process and converge upon an efficient mold design. SimForm is an efficient tool for optimizing mold cooling, providing quick results for comparing methods, and ensuring that the final design meets customer requirements, resulting in time and cost savings for manufacturers.